In this video, I'm going to show you an absolute money passing concept out of the trip side information in Madden 22. It's one of my favorite plays to be able to beat zone coverage, specifically zone drops. And if they're running some man coverage, this has actually got a really interesting and kind of neat little concept that you can use to kind of mess with man to man as well. But it's really a great zone beater and uh, specifically will work really well against those popular uh, Mabel defenses that you'll see online. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody and we do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I'd really encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the channel. Now, the play we're going to be breaking down is the PA shot post out of the uh, Detroit Lions playbook. This is also, I believe, called the PA shot wheel in the New England Patriots playbook. And we're just going to show you how good this play is specifically against zone and something kind of neat that I think you'll really enjoy uh, that you can do from the um, from the wheel route in this play. Okay, so from a setup perspective, the play is PA shot post. This is always my number one audible in my trip side in because there's so much that you can do with this concept. And this is really one of my favorite wide side passing concepts in trips tied in. Um, and it's because a lot of people sleep on this route combo, but it's one of the best ones in the game this year. And it's really good specifically because of how effective a tight end drag route is from the trip side in formation. Now, if you want to learn everything about my trips tied in offense and exactly how i run it i will encourage you to join my patreon uh, my patreon membership is only ten dollars uh, for you to be able to sign up for that and it gets you access to my trips tied in ebook in addition to that you also get all of the guides available over there we just released a brand new defense as well that i think is the best defense in the game so if you want to check that out i'll put a link to my patreon in the description and you can go check out that for yourself but the setup is real simple um we're going to uh, put our slot receiver, uh, Scotty Miller here, we're going to put him on a flat route and then we're going to wheel the running back and we're going to drag our tight end. And what you're going to notice with this is we've got a quick read here to the flat. If the running back is open, take the running back wheel. The running back wheel is designed to try to get them to have to go user that and they very much so do have to go user that. I'll show you what I'm getting at here. Um, you'll see that with this motion concept, it's really hard to stop this play. Um, and, and don't worry about the, the, but you'll see right here, just low ball, pass lane inside. And every now and then he'll drop it. Um, if you if you put protected on your quarterback or if you put like backfield master, um, you'll be able to throw this and he'll literally never drop it uh, pretty much. And you'll see how consistent this wheel is. You can throw this wheel against man. You can throw this wheel against zone. And because it's to the short side of the field, you can also throw this against um, cover two, cover three, cover four, really doesn't matter what they do. You're going to have this wheel route open. I'll show you another zone coverage that's really um, effective for kind of handling some wheel routes, and that's this double vert hook coverage here out of the Mike Butts three. And basically what you'll notice is that this we or this uh, running back wheel, we can just easily low ball inside, and you see that little pocket that we can just split the zone coverage with perfectly. So very good route for zone very good route for man very good route for pressure um this is one of my favorite pressure um like if you like get a lot of questions from people that ask me how do you beat the blitz out of trips tight end this is probably my favorite play for the blitz and the reason why is because they have to make a snap decision and they basically can't be right they either have to guard the running back wheel or they have to guard the tight end and both are going to be open really quickly Okay guys, so now what I wanted to do was direct your attention to the backside of this of this concept. And I think the best way to illustrate this is by starting with the double Mabel and then working out of that. But what you're going to see with this in terms of how it is very effective against double Mabel is this wheel route to the circle receiver. The drag route is going to hold zones underneath. And so what you'll notice is how fast this drag gets over there. And so when this wheel cuts up field, you see that a lot of times it can get matched. And if and there are situations where the wheel will get matched, and then there are situations where the wheel won't get matched, okay? And basically, it depends on are they going to use zone drops, are they not? What kind of zones are they going to drop in their zone drops, which we'll all get into that in just a second here. But why this is so good is generally speaking, most people are going to play a cover three Mabel with curl flats. And if they play that, 
this wheel typically will get matched um, as it cuts up field and what you'll notice here is that we'll leave this tied in underneath and then I can just truck up field for about 15 yards so if it's match coverage or if it's cover three um, it's going to typically match okay now what if they use seam flat zones from their as their underneath zone in their coverage so we'll show you kind of what that looks like and again we're just going to flat the slot motion them across wheel and then drag these guys if you wanted to put evans on a streak you certainly could do that as well and what you'll see here the seam flats um, you see that these don't match okay really important see how they don't match so that's something that you want to be aware of now if they don't match um, if they don't match which means they're going to be using seam flats um, then what you're going to be able to do I'll show you real quick so what we can do if they don't match is you'll see here that this wheel actually has a little pocket where you can low ball I'm messing up my low ball, but you can low ball and pass lead inside the wheel because the zones will basically flow to the tight end. And I'll show you that uh, real quick. You have to wait on this a little bit longer than you might expect, but I'm telling you the payoff is 100% worth it. Um, and you'll see why in just a second. So motion this guy over, have the wheel on the right. Now right here, and you can leave the post if you want to, but you'll see here the drag the wheel, and then you just throw it over the top. See that right there? It's kind of a sneaky bomb play for Mabel. It's really good because the clouds, you would think you would think that the clouds would cover it, but it really doesn't. And so if they don't match on the wheel, it means that they don't have curl flats. If they don't have curl flats and they're not matching that wheel, you all you have to do is just wait. If you just wait on the wheel, you can throw this over the top. Now, I'll show you with the post here. You'll see with the post, what you, it's not as good because the third can kind of play it. You can aggress it, kind of user catch it, but it's nowhere near as good. So that's why I like to say, you know, you can streak that guy there. And then basically what it happens is it's going to force them into a very specific type of defense. So I'm going to go to this cover four show two, and I'm pretty sure that the quarter flats will actually, you know what? Let me reset the play. I think I'm going to cover four drop. So you cover four drop real quick, just to show you the quarter flat zone adjustment. So if they're in a quarter flat, you'll see right here, pretty much same thing should happen. You see that I can cut this off before the guy gets there and easily make the catch. So it doesn't matter. It's basically, if they don't run a curl flat zone, it's gonna be wide open over the top. And if they do run a curl flat zone, then your tight end is just gonna come underneath and be wide open as well. Now for man to man, real quick, uh, one other thing I want to show with man coverage, this tight end drag is really underrated against man to man. Uh, just trust it. That tight end drag is probably one of the best routes in the game against man to man that really nobody uses. And as you can see, now if you know that it's man to man, okay, if you have a high hunch that it's probably man to man, I would really recommend leaving this skinny post here or S post to Mike Evans because that route will beat man. And then now you have this route, this wheel that can get over the top of press man or shaded underneath man. So if they're shading their man coverage down, the wheel gets open over the top on it. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go with shading outside and underneath, which is the way that most people have started doing their shading. And obviously your running back's gonna be open but now what you'll see here is that this wheel, the curl flat will match it late because it's manned up. And you see how he can get over the top of that route. Now, if he doesn't have a step on him, he's not open. So don't throw it if he doesn't have a, have a clear, obvious step on him. But another thing that I wanna point out about this real quick is this S post is really good against man. And it also helps kind of attack the cover two versus the cover three against cover two man, the wheel is probably going to be your best route against the cover one or i'm sorry against the cover one your wheeler is going to be your your probably your best route against cover two man or even sometimes cover one man this s post is really effective as you can see the inside thirds i have to tell you they really don't play much especially when you use this wheel route so you can certainly use this wheel um to be able to have something that's pretty effective 
Now, one of my favorite uh, coverages, last last coverage I want to break down here today, one of my favorite coverages to use this against is actually the cover two. Because what you'll see with this cover two here is this S post is kind of a sneaky cover two beater on this play. And I'll show you one last thing that you can do with this that I think is really neat. So because you have a wheel route to your running back and also kind of depending on how your opponent decides to use her and adjust and all that, all of those things, it can kind of change the coverage that you're going to get. So if you get a standard or traditional cover three and you want to leave this post route, what's really neat about this wheel route, if you don't really want to focus on that as your primary route, these wheel routes are really good pull routes. And so what you'll see in the cover three is once this guy kind of passes him, there's a window that I can hit right underneath that out or that outside third. So that's another thing that is really, I think, advantageous about this. And again, you have to remember the way a lot of people defend trips tied in is you're going to get this kind of cover three, but you're going to get a deep half to the trips or to the tight end side. Why that's significant is because you know that this deep half will get sucked down by this wheel. So once he kind of passes him, there's a small window in which you can have kind of a shot. Wasn't able to hit it there. And again, if you want to throw it inside of this, this is one other last thing that I want to show you about this wheel route and why I like these wheel routes um, and why this play is not just about the wheel route. The wheel route can basically pull zones back and it can pull zones out. And so what you'll see is this outside third or this inside third, if you pass lead it inside, he'll never get him. He'll never guard him. And that's a consistent cover three beater over the middle as well. So you have a lot in this in this concept and a lot in your arsenal when you run it. This is one of my favorite plays in the game. And I love how it just beats every single coverage, really manipulates the zone, can be very effective against man-to-man. -man. And as you can see, with, with motion, can really open up the running back as a potential threat as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the trips tied in offense and just want to get better running the trips tied in system, I'd really encourage you to get into my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up. And it doesn't just unlock trips tied in, it unlocks all 28 of our Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks that we've been releasing week in and week out, teaching you the principles, how to get better on offense, how to get better on defense, how to master this game. And if you really want to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to get into the Patreon and start checking out some of those ebooks.